Hi there and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Thank you for taking the time to come and join me. Aquarius, this is your reading for October. Let's see what's going on in the ethers for you. What message do you need to know? What is the vibration you're picking up on? I did do a pre-card shuffle for you and I see drama. You know, somebody bringing in drama when they probably don't need to be, but let's see how this pans out for you. We're going to take a look at you and your other person, plus the past, the present, and the future. Okay, so let's see. The past, the present, and the future. Five of Wands. I told you drama. I didn't. I was not playing when I said drama. You guys, Mars is in Libra. Okay, and with the fact that you know we're moving into this Libra season Mars is pretty strong there's gonna be a lot of soul lessons that need to be learned here okay five of wands energy it doesn't have to be this way but it's going to be this way if you don't learn to you know see the new opportunities that are ahead of you and I say that because this young lady is wearing a yellow I call them bibs, right? She's wearing yellow bibs and she's looking, to me, she's looking at these opportunities here on this staff. She has complete control, or he has complete control over whatever this energy is and can create by using their own ingenuity and their own initiative. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Star card 17, one and seven is eight bringing things together. I have been picking up on numerology all day today. And so I feel like the universe really at this time is showing you specific messages and they're just little seedlings right now. But as you begin to push forward and continue to plant your seeds, you're going to have the whole forest here. Okay. Do you see how it's bare right here? And then it's like all lush and green. The new moon is on October 6th. So you will be planting your seeds and trying to grow your grass and grow whatever it is that you need to make things sit right for you because you know there's conflict coming in. It's a lesson and it's slow conflict too, okay? It could be contractual. I'm picking up on that. Like could have to do with paperwork, something along those lines, Aquarius, okay? And you, you're right here. You're in the center of everything. I feel like you, because of your actions here, by the way, that's what you need to be paying attention to. You guys, Jupiter and Saturn are both retrograde and will be that way until November. This October is the opportunity to pay attention to the things that have been done, okay? You've got blessings coming with this Piscean energy. This is that Mars energy I told you about. Mars and Libra is going to be a good thing for you because it's going to show you how to fight. It's also going to show you who your enemies are. Okay, there could, these, to me, this could be online enemies. So keep that and watch that as it resonates. That might be something you need to look out for as you start to move forward and go throughout the month of October here. Who else? Okay, yeah, manifestate. Look, everything is fine. That's why I like this deck. Okay, because this is not your normal Ten of Swords. There is the Ten of Swords in this deck, but this is the Everything is Fine card. After things have, you know, been done or, you know, hardships, things that, you know, somebody possibly had to pay karma for. And I'm going to say you had your hand in it. Whatever it is, could be something to do with finances. There's going to be a manifestation here, okay, of truth, of prosperity. Please pay attention to what's coming for you because Spirit is trying to let you know you don't need to be worried. There's something that you said. There's something that you did. And I feel like you're worried. You're concerned about it because of other people. You're concerned that someone else is going to have to um, take the brunt of this. Okay. And what's funny to me is that in this deck, there's these people are actually wearing masks. Okay, so this could be like an external type of conflict as well. Conflict over, you know, just the way that social structure has changed. This is all about your abundance and you being strong here. Period. Point blank. This is you being the divine feminine beauty and knowing your true power here. 
okay this is venus and leo this is about the divine feminine being happy okay especially if there's been a chance or you've been in a situation where you were possibly abused in some way shape or form okay for some of you guys if this is having to deal with abuse you might be hiding the fact that this is some sort of an abusive energy okay you could be hiding it from other people yep you have somebody around you that's very immature because this is your energy and now we're pushing on into your other person's energy here and you have the five of swords at the bottom of the deck this is somebody who is disrespectful on purpose they hurt people on purpose this is the, why the five of wands is here okay you're more of let's do something beautiful and blessed and this particular person wants to just cause confrontation for you you're gonna get over it though i promise you see and this person is creating some sort of verbal attack here that is going to cause a tower moment for themselves not you this person is going to have to learn that they're about to lose you because you already know that the universe is coming in and showing you a new path and a new opportunity to the point where when you're dealing with relationships the only thing that you will ever do moving forward here aquarius is to just be happy abundant married committed all of that this other person doesn't even want to get to that point yet okay they might have some bad news for you as well this i don't care for this person's energy when it comes to what it is you're trying to work on here because at this point you saw all of these new opportunities and you took care of yourself you did you see how this was just one one before you know look at all of these wands nine of wands energy is where you're currently at you're going to be protecting yourself because you know and you sense when someone is coming in to create this tower moment for you with their immaturity here okay this is to me this is destructive this is something where the, somebody is wishing to uh impair somebody you know and impair them it could be energetically yes look at this it could be energetically but they're being deceptive about the relationship and the things that they're doing and willing to say around you or for you or towards you. For some of you guys, I this it's almost like an energy of this person doesn't necessarily claim you. And they could say something to you that really bothers you. Okay? This person is extremely immature. And if it's not immature within this, this is someone who's dealing with children. Mm-hmm. They might do or say something that's really going to upset you, okay? They might even get into a fight with, if this is a child, they might even get into a fight with another child here, and you're going to be hearing about this energy, and you're going to have to decide what to do. For some of you guys, as I told you, there's conflict here. You know, I feel like Spirit is giving you the heads up that there could be this sort of conflict, and you're telling whoever this is to protect themselves. Maybe you have a child here that is... Um, how do I say this? It's, it's kind of like a starseed child. So this child is an empath. And because their light shines the way it does, and I feel like you know this Aquarius because this is your energy. And I see this stork here. So for some of you guys, I feel like we're talking about kids now. This is definitely something where you are seeing that, you know, you were raised a certain way. This child doesn't have to be raised in that way. This child is much softer. And so might be going through some sort of conflict. This could even be an older child but it's still just the energy of you helping this child and not getting caught up in their conflict, okay? Um, yeah, so just be very, very careful with that, with that Eight of Wands energy, okay? This other person, I feel like if they apologize to you, now we're gonna kind of go back to adult mode here. If this other person is, you know, either a masculine or a feminine, they're really going through it right now because of what they did. Tell me about this Page of Swords. They wanna talk to you and I feel like they're spying on you. They're spying to see that you're creating something new. See, they're looking, they are coming back from the past. Mercury retrograde just the other day. It's pretty strong, too. I don't know why, but I always think this card looks like Beyonce, right? I don't know why. I always do. But again, this is also Mars and Leo. You're over there looking beautiful, strong with that Empress, you know, Leo energy that we saw. And this person knows it. They're spying on you. They want to come in and offer you something unexpected here because the thing is, is that they think that they can take advantage of you. 
I promise you, they think that you're loyal and committed. And right now they feel like you have the opportunity to work on something else here. They're trying to tell you that they want to work out, you know, work things out. And they want to be honest and truthful with you too. I don't know. They might, they might come in and apologize, but it's only because they see that you're doing as well as you are. It says everything is fine here. This person tried to come for you and you wouldn't allow it. You wouldn't allow it. And this person, the fact that you wouldn't let them take advantage of you, they're just like, huh? How is this not, this is, they see that you've changed. They see that you're not the same. Maybe you went away, you grew up a little bit. They're seeing that you're different now. Tell me about my uh, Aquarius, please. You've got good things coming. That's all I know. It's, it's all I feel. See, like I said, eight of wands again. New opportunities. You don't have to deal with anybody's BS. Eight of wands, nine of wands. Okay, seven of wands. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you're, you're a step above this particular person. You're learning how to heal and to do the things you know, you need to do. You have been abused by this particular person because they're the kind of person that comes in and offers sweetness and then out of nowhere, they just flip at the top, of, you know, like a drop of a hat and they they just, I don't know if they go insane or if they, they to me, this is someone who's physical, you know? They might be going through something as well, especially if there's children involved here. Maybe they put their hands on the kids and there could be a, a problem because of the fact that somebody put their hands on the kids. You know. What is this Aquarius? Four of Wands. Told you. You're stepping into a relationship. You're stepping into the true commitment, celebration, everything it is that you have always wanted at this time, Aquarius. It is meant for you. You're working everything out. You are not going to be settling for anybody that wants to treat you badly either, okay? I do feel that this is kind of a, there's a generational pool here when it comes to these children. Your other person is having a hard time dealing with younger ones. I feel like somebody just needs to keep their hands to themselves, especially if they're putting their hands on you. That's not, that's not happening. This person needs to keep their hands to themselves. I don't care how old they are. 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, if you're working with somebody in elderly care, keep your hands to yourself. If you're working with a toddler or something like that, or younger, keep your hands to yourself. That's all I'm going to say. Because I see, I see punching, I see hitting, I see kicking. You know, people trying to, this is physical confrontation. And somebody's about to learn a lesson here because I saw that page of um, pentacles. See, there's going to be a quick communication. Something's going to be come in, coming in, and this is going to be you stepping into your power and bringing in the revelation that heal, healing needs to be happening. Healing, abundance, love. You're pushing towards something special here. I feel like this person is going to be, yeah, they're going to come back in and offer you something when they realize you're not hung up on them either. I promise you. I just, that's what I see. I promise you that's exactly what this energy is. Tell me about this four of wands and everything being fine, please. For my Aquarius is, yes, you're going to be taking beautiful action here. This is all about love for you and understanding what's worth fighting for here. Yeah, see, look, temperance at the bottom of the deck with the ace of swords. So you've got a Sagittarian energy telling you about the moves that you're getting ready to make here, okay? Things were on hold for a second, but now spirit's coming in here with your energy again with that fool. Or no, excuse me, not your energy. That's the, the Pisces energy, right? The ending of something, the closure that you're going to get. See, there's a lot of closure here with the Ten of Swords, but this is everything is fine. You're moving into successful abundance. Some of you all are getting a boob job. That's how, that's how good it's going to be for you. You're like, I get to do what I want to do here. You know? Yeah, you're admired is also what I feel, okay? And you might end up, again, you're protecting your home. You're protecting your house. This is all about finances for you as well with this infinity here. You're, you're so successful because of this purple energy. It's like you're royalty. You're stepping into something because you decided to ground yourself and take passionate control over all of this. The magician. The magician has a lot to do with whatever this is. And I feel like, you know, what's crazy is you manifested protection for yourself. And that's what bought this abusive energy 
an ending to this cycle. You manifested protection for yourself. And it's actually going to keep working. The universe is going to keep fighting for you here. Mm -hmm. And that's why this person's going through a tower moment knowing they need to apologize to you. This person is, is vain. They really are. They are vain. Tell me about Aquarius, this other person. Two of Wands. Yeah, there's a, yeah. <laughs> and they're making plans. I don't feel like they like being checked like that. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. They do what they want, when they want, how they want, with who they want. No one's going to tell them what to do. Okay. They're, this is their own garden. They're the, the manifester here. You're over here manifesting offers for yourself because you're wise. You're smart. You know exactly what needs to be happening. You need to be protected here. This person is plotting and making plans. They're coming back to say something to you. I promise you they are. They don't want you doing anything new without them. Tell me about this seven of wands. They don't want you doing anything new without them. See, I told you. They have to learn this lesson about the fact that you're not going to be held on to, right? Because you already know. This is ten of swords right here. You've got the everything is fine. This person is going to end up being the one that feels betrayed. Their apology is BS. Their apology is just another opportunity to come back into this cycle where they hold on to you and try to abuse you, possibly sexually here, okay? They want this opportunity to reconcile with you. Yeah, this is a classic narcissist right here. You know, they get upset, be real immature with you with the way that they're talking to you, not really giving to you, acting like they've got other options here because this is the two of wands, right? You've got one in the background and one in the front. You know, they feel they've got things established with you. They're sturdy. They're stable. So they're going to go play with this other wand. And then it becomes a problem because these other wands end up getting in the way. And so now, because of everything that's happened, right, you're now manifesting. <laughs> this is what's funny. This is what's funny. This person has played you so bad that if you are a manifester, you ask God, literally is what I feel, to cause drama. Remember I said there was drama coming in to cause conflict for this person every time they try to do you dirty. See, and they're going through it and having to protect themselves because they know that whatever this was, was a problem. And then there's some sort of an abusive energy here. For some of you guys, this is someone, if they put their hands on their kids, Aquarius, um, I'm seeing that this is a masculine energy here. There might be some sort of an investigation where somebody's trying to determine if this child is allowed to stay and whether or not there's actually some sort of an abusive type of energy here. Okay. For some of you guys, I feel that's there's a sexual energy behind that. So don't be surprised if, you know, somebody gets a call or you, I don't know, somebody's the grandmother and she just, the grandmother is breaking down. I'm picking, I'm picking up on a grandmother type of energy here. Yeah, she's just kind of breaking down because she feels like something has been exposed. You know, there's a third party energy here. There's something here. I don't know why I'm picking up on a grandmother. There's a grandmother that doesn't want someone around. They don't want them coming around the house. At all. Aquarius. Wheel of Fortune and Judgment. And this is because of someone's actions here. I'm telling you, there's because of the exposure and the deception that came. Now this reconciliation, whatever this is, it's faded. Someone will have to say something at some point. But the overall energy between the two of you is both that of the Ten of Swords. But you guys have different perspectives. Aquarius, you think that everything's fine with this and this other person feels betrayed. They feel backstabbed. And they're going to be holding on to whatever this emotion is. I don't necessarily think that it's you. I think that this is an energy of where anytime this person tries to do something, they're going to end up being crushed. Because of this toxic energy and this need to be in their ego. They have to learn this lesson, whoever it is here, Aquarius. I told you, you're stepping into something blessed. But you have to get past what this person is planning and plotting. Because I already feel like this person is going through it. Especially with this Mercury retrograde that just kicked in right here. Right? The sun just kind of came in and it revealed everything with this Scorpio energy. Yeah. Told you that there was some sort of an ending here. For some of you guys, this is not good at all. I see CPS here. I do. I see like child protective services. I see that this could be a very, very extreme case with your other person. 
and you, it, it just changes your whole world here with this scorpionic energy on the world card. The, the, whatever vanity this was, whatever abusive energy this was, the hesitant energy with this person, it changes your world because you know that you, it's, it's within you for some particular reason why you have to help whatever this situation is. Okay, so you might be making an offer. There's going to be something you have to do to step in to protect whatever's going on in this cycle because you have two children here. Actually, you have three children. You have three pages here. Okay, and, and there's something here. They're trying to hold on. They're trying to do something. Three children. But there's, a, there's just an energy of where someone's being abused. I feel like they have to make it on their own. I just picked up an energy of where their mother leaves for days at a time and doesn't come home. Yeah, nine of pentacles. The youngest one, or they have to go make money. They have to go and make money. So there could be someone who's thieving here. And this is how it all kind of, you know, just it crumbles the way that it does for this particular parent. Yeah. Some, I feel like there's one of the children is trying to put food on the table for the other children and gets caught either selling drugs or stealing, doing something. And that's how CPS gets involved with this. Or there's an energy here where someone is um, physically abusive. They say that they're sorry after they're abusive. And they're doing that so that they can hold on. It's a cycle. It's the cycle of violence. If you guys don't know what that is, it's called the cycle of violence here. And they come back with gifts. They come back bearing gifts so that you'll stay and take them back. You're moving on though. You understand now. You understand what's happened in this relationship. And you know what you need to do. See? Hero font. You've been guided. You've been divinely guided. There's been someone here who's given you wise counsel, very wise counsel, and helped you to see the truth about the person that you're possibly dealing with here, okay? Helped you see the passion versus uh, stability in a way because I've got, you know, fern leaves and I've got roses. So roses talk about passion, but fern talks about money. Fern talks about how do you... Or what is your drive? What is your communication? What is your commitment to do something here? And from what I see in this energy, it's that to be of a good, decent heart space and step forward into something and not be afraid to speak. That's another thing. Because this person has done enough speaking for everybody here. Give me one more for this world card. One more for this world card. Okay. The Five of Swords. You're putting an end to whatever this toxicity was. You are actually going to be taking charge and not allowing people to harm you or hurt you. I told you, you did some manifesting here. Okay? You did. Capricorn energy. This is going to be Saturn. Saturn bringing you in some sort of victory when everything is all said and done. Okay, this relationship had you stuck and you were literally getting ready to free yourself when things go in the direction you need them to go in. Most definitely. This person, they're, they're needing to learn what their soul life purpose is here. They're having to learn to communicate as well. They don't want to learn this lesson. That's going to be their problem. This person's headspace and how they feel about you, what their intentions are moving forward, and anything else that spirit needs you guys to know, it will also be the same for you. I will flip and do role reversal here, okay? And then any other spiritual prayers and messages that come out towards the end. Um, the Vimeo extended link is going to be below. And please don't forget that Friday Night Love Tarot is also your weekly. I'll see you guys later. Peace and love, folks.